Welcome to Math Tips and Solutions. Today we will do exercise 12.3, question number 5 onwards. The temperature dropped 15 degrees Celsius in the last 30 days. If the rate of temperature drop remains the same, how many degrees will the temperature drop in the next 10 days? Let's see how to do this question. First, we have to write what is given in the question. Rate of temperature dropped in last 30 days is 15 degrees Celsius. So, that is 15 degrees. First, we have to find the rate of temperature drops in 1 day. That is 15 by 30. Now, we can cancel it with 5. Use table 5. So, 5 threes are 15 and 6 fives are 30. This is easily divisible by 5. Now, 3 and 6 which is easily divisible by 3. Table of 3. 1 threes are 3 and 3 twos are 6. So, this is 1 by 2 degree. Now, we have to find temperature drop in next 10 days. That is one day it is 1 by 2 multiplied by 10. Cancel it with 2. 2 1s are 2 and 5 2s are 10. So that is 5 degree. This is our answer. Question number 6. Shaina pays rupees 15,000 as rent for 3 months. How much does she has to pay for a whole year? If the rent per month remains same. So here 3 months rent is given as 15,000. First we have to find out the rent for 1 month. Then we have to find out how much she need to pay for the whole year. Whole year means how many months it is 12 months. So let's see how to do this. So here first Step is rent China pays for 3 months. That is rupees 15,000. And we have to find out how much rent she pays for 1 month. That is 15,000 divided by 3. Then we will get how much she pays for 1 month. Which is equal to we can cancel it with 3. 3 ones are 3 and 5 threes are 15. And we can write this zeros. Which is equal to 5,000. So, one month she is pay, paying rupees 5,000. We know that one year equals 12 months. We need to find rent she has to pay for a whole year. That means for 12 months how much she need to pay. That is 12 into 5,000. 12 multiplied by 5 is 5 twos are 10. 5 ones are 5 plus 1 6. Write 60 and write this 3 zeros. Rupees 60,000 she need to pay for one whole year. Question number 7. Cost of 4 dozen bananas is rupees 180. How many bananas can be purchased for rupees 90? Here cost of 4 dozen bananas is given. And we have to find out how many bananas can be purchased for rupees 90. That means for rupees 90, what number of bananas you can purchase. So you have to find the number of bananas. So for rupees 180, we can buy 4 dozen bananas. Number of bananas that can be purchased for rupees 180 is 4 dozen. 4 dozen means 1 dozen is 12. So, 12 into 4. That is 48. So, you can buy 48 bananas for rupees 180. Then, we have to find out how much bananas, how many bananas you can buy for 1 rupee. First, you have to find that. So, while reading the question, it sh you should be careful what you need to find. Here, how many bananas? How many means number of so, you have to find out the number of bananas. Let's see how to do this. So, while writing the steps, you have to write like this. Read the question carefully and write the steps according to that. Here, number of bananas that can be purchased for rupees 180 is 
4 dozen. We know that 1 dozen equals 12. So 4 into 12 which is equal to 48. You have to find the exact number. So for rupees 180 you can buy 48 bananas. Now we have to find how much we can purchase. How many bananas you can purchase for rupees 1. That is 48 divided by 180. Now see both the numbers are even numbers. So we can divide it with 2. This number the 2, 4 and 8. Both the digits are easily divisible by 2. So 2 twos are 4 and 4 twos are 8. Here 18 is divisible by 2 which is 9 twos are 18 and 0 you can write. Again 24 and 90 both are even numbers. We can divide it with 2. 1 twos are 2 and 2 twos are 4. 2 and 4 are easily divisible by 2. So I am cancelling like this. 99 is not a multiple of 2. So if you have if you don't know to cancel it, you can divide and find. So here 4 twos are 8. 10. 5 twos are 10. Which is 45. Again, 2 and 5 here. So this is not divisible by 2. Now let's see 5 is also not possible. Add the digits 1 plus 2 that is 3. 4 plus 5 which is 9. So when we add the numbers we get sum as 3 and 9. That means it is the it these numbers are multiple of 3 because 3 and 9 are multiples of 3. So it is easily divisible by 3. 4 3s are 12 and here we can find it out. 45 divided by 3. 1 3s are 3, 4 minus 3, 1, 5, 5 3s are 15. Now we cannot cancel it anymore, here 4 and 15. So let it be like this, fraction only, 4 by 15. Next we have to find number of bananas that can be purchased for rupees 90. That is 4 by 15 multiplied by 90. For 1 rupee, we can buy 4 by 15, a part of the banana. And for 90 rupees, you have to multiply this 4 by 15 into 90. Here, uh, 15 and 90, we can cancel it with table 5. So, this is 5, 3 are 15 and 90 divided by 5. Let's find out. 1, 9 minus 5, 4, 40. 8 5 are 40. Therefore, here it will come 18. 3 and 18 again we can, it is easily divisible by 3. 1 3 are 3, 6 3 are 18. So, 4 times 6 is 24. So, 24 bananas. This is the answer. Next question number 8. The weight of 72 books is 9 kg. What is the weight of 40 such books? So here, first we have to find out. Here in the question, first it is given weight of 72 books, 9 kg. First we have to find weight of 1 book. Then weight of 40 books. Weight of 1 book into 40. Here the, here weight of 72 books is given as 9 kg. First we have to find out weight of one book that is 9 kg by 72 which is equal to we can cancel it with 9. 9 ones are 9 and 9 eights are 72. 1 by 8 it comes as a fraction let it be like this. Now weight of 40 books is 1 by 8 multiplied by 40. 8 ones are 8 and 8 fives are 40. Therefore, our answer is 5 kg. So, weight of 40 books is 5 kg. Question number 9. A truck requires 108 liters of diesel for covering a distance of 
594 km. How much diesel will be required by the truck to cover a distance of 1650 km? So here, read the question carefully and what we have to find is how much diesel. So we have to find the quantity of diesel. So you have to write the steps accordingly. Be careful. Read the question carefully and write the steps. So first we have to write quantity of diesel required for a truck for covering a distance of 594 kilometers is 108 liters. Because we have to find how much diesel will be required by the truck to cover a distance of 1650 kilometers. Be careful while writing the steps. So let's see how to do this. First, it is given in the question. Quantity of diesel required for the truck for covering 594 kilometers is 108 liters. First, we have to find the quantity of diesel required for the truck for covering 1 kilometer. This is unitary method. So we have to first find for 1 kilometer and then multiply with that multiply the answer with our required kilometer so this is for finding 1 kilometer 108 divided by 594 the unit place it is even numbers 8 and 4 so we can cancel it with 2 divide it with 2 first we can divide 108 divided by 2 First place will come 0, 5 to are 10, bring down 8, 4 to are 8. So here it will come 54. Now we can find 594 by 2. 2 twos are 4, 5 minus 4, 1, bring down 9, 9 to are 18, minus it. 1 bring down 4 7 to sir 14 297 will come here 54 and 97 comes so 4 and 7 not even numbers so we cannot divide it with 2 now add the digits 5 plus 4 which is 9 and 2 plus 9 is 11 11 plus 7 is 18 so 9 and 18 come both are multiples of 3 and also 9 so you can divide it with 3 or 9 i'm going to divide it with 9 that is so that our calculation will be less 54 divided by 9 we know that 9 6 are 54 297 divided by 9 here 0 will come first place 9 3 is 27 9 minus 7 is 2, 27, 3. So this will come 33. Again, 6 and 33. You can cancel it with 3. 3 twos are 6 and 11 threes are 33. So we can write this as 2 by 11 liters. So for one kilometer the truck need 2 by 11 liters of diesel we have to find how much diesel is required for covering 1650 kilometer that is quantity of diesel required for the truck for covering 1650 kilometer which is equal to 2 by 11 multiplied by 1650 we will just divide and find the answer 11 so first place we can put 0 11 ones are 11 6 minus 1 5 bring this 5 down 11 fives are 55 0 so 1 0 only take that up we'll get here 2 multiplied by 150 150 into 2, 15 multiplied by 2, 2 5s are 10, 1 2s are 2, plus 1 3. 300 liters. Like this. 
question number 8 Raju purchases 10 pence for rupees 150 and Manish buys 7 pence for rupees 84 can you say who got the pence cheaper here first cost of 10 pence bought by Raju that is rupees 150 we have to find out the cost of one pen that is 150 divided by 10 cancel the zeros so that is rupees 15 cost of seven pens bought by manish which is rupees 84 cost of one pen is 84 divided by 7 you can find the answer here 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 that is equal to rupees 12 so here rupees 15 is greater than rupees 12 so manish bought the cheaper pen rupees 15 is greater than rupees 12 so manish bought the cheaper pen therefore we can say manish got the cheaper pens or manish bought the cheaper pens that's it Last question. Anish made 42 runs in 6 overs and Anub made 63 runs in 7 overs. Who made more runs per over? Here we have to find out number of runs per over. Okay, so number of runs. So first number of runs Anish made in 6 overs which is equal to four, which is 42. So that is 42. Number of runs Anish made in one over. First we have to find out how much he made in one over. 42 by 6 which is equal to 6 7s are 42. So 7, 7 runs per over. Number of runs Anub made in 7 overs which is equal to 63. So we have to find out number of runs Anub made per rover, per rover or one over. That is 63 divided by 7. That is 9. 9 sevens are 63. 9 runs. Therefore, 9 is greater than 7. So who made more runs? Anub made more runs per rover. Anub got more runs.